In this lesson, we're going to be looking at movement blocks, how you move all sorts of things. But first, a quick tip on New Zealand. Did you know that New Zealand has absolutely no snakes? None. Right, let's get started. There are several ways you can move your virtual Kaibot around. The first way is using the keyboard. You can use the touchpad controller. So movement is obviously drive forward. But an important fact about Conundrum is it uses these tiles. And with each tile, you can actually read your position. So here, the robot is on tile 12. We've got several other ways to move as well. We can move forward one tile, which is the same as 15 centimeters. But when you're using move forward tile, it always centers the robot in the tile and doesn't go off track. We can turn left, turn right, your standard movement commands. But what's really cool is right at the bottom, we have this function autonomously drive to object name. Now object names can be uh, turned on by using this little hat icon. So if we turn on the hat, you can see there's checkpoint one. So if I type in check point one and match it exactly how it's written with a space. And now let's go backwards and face another way. There we go, let's go around the corner. And now I'm gonna run the code. My hands are off the keyboard. And now you can see Kaibot is autonomously driving to checkpoint one. So there you go. That's pretty much about movement and just a quick sneak peek about all the different movements. There are very advanced controls on controlling the individual motors and how many steps each motor can do. But I suggest you look at the user manual for more details about all the other drive commands. Until next time, see you later.